Uh, so the first thing that you guys should know is that these boxes are heavy as fuck. They got to weigh over like 200 pounds. You're not moving it without a second set of hands. Yeah. It really helps to have a second person help you to just uh, at least put on the front wheel anyways and, and move it. It's hard to do by yourself unless you have a, some sort of bike jack. But other than that, it's pretty simple. We're going to show you guys how it's done, though. Once we got everything cleaned off of it, first thing I'll do is put on the handlebars. Just kind of makes it easy to pick up and move around for when you put on the front wheel. It's a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, it's just handlebars, front wheel, and if you're going to tune it, you got to open the box to tune it. Well, you're going to need to open the box to get the key out, too. You ever know what, uh, which Allen key uh, you need to use to, to do the handlebar? Uh, this is a size... Uh, a five millimeter. Nice. No, wait, no. It says GRV four. Hmm, not even sure. Yeah, yeah no, four millimeter actually. Four. I know, I know this is a metric set. Almost everything e bike is metric. So I'll take that. We're gonna have to turn the stem around. They just leave it this way uh, for shipping purposes. kind of tight with this light here. It's really nice having these uh, multi-tools with all the different keys on them. Then you don't have to go searching for a different key whenever you need a different size. Next step, we'll put on the front wheel so we can get this thing standing on its own. Then after that, just got to open up the panels, put on the seat, and I'm going to do some tuning. You guys can too if you want to. Good spot. Uh, not, uh, not yet. Let me just pull the axle out first. Oh, right. uh, no, okay. Sometimes it gets really stuck. Ready? Yep. One, two. Oh, oops. Fucking heavy, huh? Yeah, I was like, wait, hold on. Let me just get some, uh... It doesn't help that it wheels itself backwards, too. And you're good. <laughs> Beautiful. So, for the left pedal, you gotta spin it to the left, and for the right pedal, you gotta spin it to the right. So it's opposite each, each side. Helps to have a small adjustable wrench for this. I have one inside the shop. I always like to open this side of uh, the paneling because the, this side over here is facing down with the kickstand and over time these kind of get a little loose so nothing is going to fall out if you open this side I feel like it's just the easier way to go
I usually leave this screw in just so the panel can hang and it doesn't have to come completely off. It doesn't hurt either to go double checking all your screws, mainly your back bolts and all of the screws that are on the forks as well. All right, so Sal, what do we, uh, we're un unscrewing the panel to get to the controller to start the MQCOM process, right? Yes, that and also the keys are inside here. Looks like this is going to have to come off. If I have to go in here for any other reason, I usually just leave it off. I hope they're not on the other side. Sometimes you never know what side they're going to end up on. They got edges. <laughs> yeah. It's usually um it's usually hooked up to here, but it could be on the other side. Unless they're hanging somewhere that I don't see. Got to plug in the battery too anyway. Got an Anderson connector. Oh, and there's the keys hiding right here. Just so you guys know, the bombers they don't come with one of these Bluetooth devices, but they come with a wire. So you'd have to do it through your laptop. So, oh, one thing I forgot about is you do have to hook up the, the brake light and blinkers. Those go to here. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And show you what wires go where. But let's uh, get this tuning process out of the way. We'll plug that in. We can see that this is the display because it's the fat connector with um, five wires, six wires. So just down a little bit further, maybe a little hard to see on the camera. There is a three pin connector that we have to disconnect in order to do the tuning. So, might as well get this unplugged. We'll turn that flux current all the way up and turn on the e-brake, which is uh, regen braking on the throttle, if you didn't know. There we go. Got that. A whole test does not need to be done. It's already done, so. Thank goodness. Yeah, <laughs> you'll break the kickstand trying to pull it up on there. So communication error. Sweet. MCON E motor, and we're in. So settings. Oh, your phone's a little different. Function. E-brake on, see, it's already on, Oop. it's at 50 amps, you're going to want to turn this bitch up to 100, that's as high as it goes, the bomber's heavy and it's hard to stop, right, layout is different, 30, we'll change that to 50, what'd you do again, oh, just Enter. hit the, hit the, oh, hit the up the, arrow, yeah. how do you make that oh, go away, hit that, Cool. So uh, we got flux weakening on set to 50, e brake set at 100. I call this um, speed tuning throttle min voltage. We will change to 1.6 for better throttle responsiveness. Accelerate MS. It helps with um, when you're hitting top speed. 
sometimes the motor will go into a protect mode and lock up this should prevent that from happening right. accelerate MS operation done I usually save it more than once just to make sure operation done operation done all right let's get this three pin plug back in and then slap this seat on so once the three pin is uh, connected back in we can turn the bike off and, and on again to uh, remove the air and it should be good to go right yeah even once this is uh, uh plugged in the air should go away sometimes you do got to turn it on and off though or off and on there we go yeah and the error went away hey. i'm gonna take back with this bluetooth device and stuff everything back in here well some stuff need some room for the seat Hard to get the seat on. So one bit of advice, don't drop any fucking bolts in there because you're beat if you do. <laughs> you're not getting them out. I, I put a bomber together last week and I dropped the bolt down there and I wasn't able to get it. Game over. I don't use all this extra hardware that it comes with. I just use one washer on each side. It makes it a little too difficult to get the seat on if you use all of it. Here we go. Pieces? <laughs> I don't even know what those are doing there. Yeah, just make sure you watch your uh, wheel size too on these guys because these tires are super tall. To get a, uh, the most accurate speed reading, I actually, with these tires, had to change my wheel size to uh, like 29 and a half inches roughly. Then that gave me an accurate speed reading. It kept saying that I was going way slower than I really was, which that you, you just take care of on the display. Double click the M for settings and you'll see wheel size there. So while we're on the right side, the last thing we're gonna do is I got the bolts on this side. I'm not gonna tighten the bolts on the other side because I'll end up dropping them and losing them forever. So with this tail light, we got the bracket right here, which is actually bolted to the back of the seat back here. Um, the wire needs to be fed through it, but if you leave it mounted back here, the wire is not going to stretch long enough for you to plug everything in, just because you're not able to stick your hands inside the bomber enough to plug things in. So I disconnected it and just stuffed the wire through far enough so I have room to work. So I'm going to show you where everything plugs in. So we have orange to blue, male orange to blue female, and then I think it's, well, I know black goes to black. I normally have this written down on my phone, but I broke it yesterday. <laughs> uh, black to black. I know green goes to brown. The yellow stripe to red. And then yellow, regular yellow to orange. So here, I'll just show it so you can clearly see how everything should be plugged in. then it can just be screenshotted right there and you don't have to keep playing it back. All right. So we opened up the other side panel uh, where the um, bolts on the left side of the seat are. So right now Sal's just tightening it, right? Yeah, just tightening them up. You know what socket you use to tighten? Size 14. Size 14. There you go, guys. 
It's a little hard to get a wrench in there to hold the nut on the other side. I'm just using my fingers and it kind of works. So what, uh, a good pro tip is to remove the screw first, that one that he has, remove that first and then align that bolt from the inside. But like Sal said, don't drop that that uh, end bolt because uh, it will fall in the abyss of your frame. And everything has to come out to get it. You have to take the controller out, the battery out, fucking everything. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to go there. Yeah. yeah. That one, uh... Yeah, it might be a, a 5 to 8 amp. Most of the uh, 8 amps are. Or 5 amps are 5 to 8 amps. That's it guys, if you guys have any questions, just give me a call. These bombers are fucking monsters, man. I swear, like, they gotta be doing between 70 and 80 miles an hour. These things are the best. Catch you later.